time now to go behind the brand at a bag company that doesn't sacrifice fashion in the name of function. Today, contributor and superstar Peloton instructor Allie Love has their story. Good morning. Hey, Good morning to you all. I'm excited to share this story. Now, I've been a huge fan of Dagny Dover for years, but even more so after meeting the three powerhouse women who are changing the way that we think about our all-important bags. Check it out. I think what makes a good bag is that it's really there to be like your best friend, your co-pilot, your assistant, while also making you look good and supporting your hustle. In a day and age where we're all caring so much, cult favorite bag brand Dagny Dover wants to lighten our load. What is iconic, like a symbol that can stand you out from the rest of the bag where you're like, I know that's Dagny Dover. You will find a key leash for your keys so that you do not lose them in the bottom of your bag. You will find an insulated water bottle holder so that your water bottle does not get too hot or too cold or spill all over the other things in your bag. Each feature designed to solve problems that Dagny Dover's co-founders personally experience. CEO Melissa Mash, COO Deepa Gandhi, and creative director Jesse Dover all had roots in the fashion industry nearly 15 years ago. I was actually applying to business school, and Mel was at said business school, and she was letting me stay with her the night before I had my interview. And instead of talking about, oh, like this is what you should discuss, this is what the interviewer might ask, all Mel wanted to talk about were handbag problems. Fast forward a couple months, I got in, ended up at school, and she actually hosted a focus group to really start to figure out what is this potential business. And I was just like, I'm in. Jessie had just won an accessory design award with luxury brand Coach when she was asked to come on board. We got along so well. I still think of it as a very magical moment for all of us just because, like, what are the odds that we would meet each other? As they worked on the business, not everyone understood the mission. I was doing, like, a Shark Tank-style pitch in front of, a, like, a huge classroom. And so the whole room was, like, Dagny Dover, fan favorite. They're getting our vote. But then there are two judges who were professors. And one of them literally during Q&A asked me, do fashionable women even care about being organized. What did you say? What was your response to that question? I said, as somebody who did work in fashion prior to coming to business school, I can tell you it's very important. And then I moved on. <laughs> Some of the things that we have talked about as women in business is when you get to the table, sometimes the folks at the table don't understand why your product is important to the rest of the world. When consumers, especially, are made up of women, when it was time to invest, how did that narrative begin? For us, it was really important that we identify investors who had already invested in consumer goods and understood that audience as opposed to the ones who would be like, I don't know, I need to send a sample to my wife in order to get a, a feel as to if this is something I want to invest in. A pre-launch sale quickly hit $40,000 in revenue. And in 2013, Dagny Dover officially hit the market. In the 10 years since, the brand is well known for totes, backpacks, crossbodies, fanny packs, and more, designed with hyper-organized compartments. Their latest collection is the Travel 1.0 line. The Lagos Convertible Duffel it has a ton of like the signature Dagny functionality, but the most important thing is it's convertible, which means you can carry it on your shoulder, you can carry it crossbody, or you can add on some backpack straps and carry it as a backpack. Because, you know, I have little ones, I have a lot of stuff going on, and putting something on your back is just hands down the most functional way to carry anything in my mind, including a child. You know, being <laughs> organized and in control is like, is what we all want to be. It's aspirational. The brand has set a new standard for innovation with their purses and bags. And with their flexible work schedule and generous parental leave policy, Dagny Dover is a testament to thinking differently. One of the things that's really special and unique about you all, not only that you're three founders, you're three women founders, and you're three diverse women founders. Is that important to your overall calling to your business? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> it was never even a conversation. We always have wanted to have a diverse team, a diverse customer base. It's who we are. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> mm. wow. They are incredible. I, I have aspirational. several of their bags. I have the fanny packs. I have the tote bag. I used one as a diaper bag because it was just so convenient mm -hmm. and I had all the space I needed. Oh, you're keeping them in business yourself. <laughs> yeah. I like that. That was great. Well, thank yeah. you. No, it's, it's important, to, and I say this truly, to be organized is aspirational because that's mm -hmm. what we all look for in our lives, are ways to do things efficient and easy yes. and then feel good about it. And I think mm -hmm. that they have something super spe special when it comes to their bags. I love that. I thank do. you, Alex. Nice. Sorry, Alex. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day.
or click the link right here.